Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. On today's Wednesday little episode, we've got a box here. I've ordered something. Now, this is a bit of a good and a bad um, episode, this one. I'll get to the bad news first. We've lost Vlad. Poor old Vlad died during uh, the night and I woke up this morning to find him. Lifeless, bless him, in the aquarium. He may have had a bad molt. He did come through the molt okay and hardened up okay, but wasn't as active as he has been, obviously, after his previous molts. And um, and sadly, he's passed on. I got him when he was fairly big, so we weren't really sure of the age of him. And um, and like I said, sadly, he's passed away. Bless him. But we've got something else to take his place, which I ordered a while ago, and they've come in stock now. So. Um, Let's have a look what we've got. So it was a shame when you lose a, a little pet. And he was a real little character, was Vlad. He really was. With his little baseball gloves out looking for food. Really enjoyed him. And I gave him the best home that he could have. Varied types of food. And, um, and looked after him the best that I could. And um, we had him for quite some time. But like I said, he was fairly big when we got him, so we're not sure of his age. But like I say, he's passed on. I enjoyed him, and sadly all things come to an end. But what we've got here is a little tiny, well I wouldn't say he's not that tiny, he's about 11 centimetres from claws to tail. Another little red clawed crayfish. But this one is a male, because I'm going to have a go at breeding with the big female that we've got and I thought I'd order one of these so I'll stick the link in the description where I got um, where I got this little guy from he was £20 delivered and he came nicely wrapped it's nice and warm now these are quite um, used to different ranges of temperatures so there was no heat pack because there was no need for it he was still very lively when, when he came and um, which shows he was still nice and active and warm in there he was handling the temperature okay but I think what we should do now is we get him out with this this water and we can put him in the bowl and we can have a look at him. Very, very hardy little guys, crayfish. Tip him out into there. Stick that away. Right, I'll just reset you up on this camera now guys so you can have a look. There you go, there's a better angle for you. As you can see, he's fairly grey. That's normally the way, that, that's normally, that's just down to stress that is of being posted and going through that system and all that stuff. So he's a little bit stressed and, um, but he's a lovely little specimen. He's missing one leg but he'll get that back when he molts next. He'll probably get a smaller leg grow and then the next couple of molts after that it'll get bigger and bigger until he gets back to a full size leg again. He's looking for some way to hide at the moment but I thought I'd just give you a Normally with these guys, on the outside, all right, don't panic little guy, on the outside of the claw, on that side here, I'll just move you over, down that side of the claw there, he'll get red when he's older. Now, how you sex these little guys when they're small, I'll just zoom out a minute, without getting nipped, if you look underneath, On that last set of legs, on this set of legs here, you get his reproductive organs here, on there and on there, on either side. And on the females, it's the second pair of legs back, where you see those two little dots there, that is where her sexual reproductive tracts are there. That's where the eggs come out from the abdomen there and she passes them back into her tail and then glues them up into her little pleopods, little swimmers there and that's where they gestate for the next sort of six weeks as they get older. Pardon the blue spot on my thumb. I've been colouring in. <laughs> right. Um, but that's how you sex them. And that only goes for the Charix variety, okay? I'll just put him back. I'm getting a little bit moody there. That's how you sex the Charix. Now, that's the red claw, the Australian red claw, which is the only one now we're allowed in the UK because of the invasive species. we got the red signal craze over here and there wreaking havoc all over our water systems and rivers and different things like that, waterways. 
but these guys are the only ones you're legally allowed to keep because of the temperature they can't survive in Britain so um, we're only allowed these guys now but they're fantastic they're beautiful color he'll go back to a stunning blue again with those pink patches down the side and you get those nice big red outsides of his claws later on as he matures now I'm going to put him in Vlad's tank we'll acclimate him in there he's a little bit small to go in with uh, with the female that I've got because she's probably around eight inches long she's a monster compared to him one of her claws is probably longer than he is um, so he's got a bit of growing to do before uh, we can put them together because the way they breed the male will actually turn the female over onto her back and deposit that little sperm packet she'll grab hold of that and then hold it there and then produce the eggs which will then roll through the um, roll through that sperm packet and then stick them up up under her, uh, under the abdomen there up into the swimmers and that's how they do that and that's how they pass the sperm but he's not going to be big enough to spin her over so I shall probably end up munching him which we don't want so he's got a little bit of growing to do this boy but it was sad to see Vlad go um, got lots of nice footage of him anyway which is nice always to look back on on the old videos of him we've always got those as little keepsakes which is nice acclimation stuff with these the same as you would do with shrimp and anything else just drip feed over an hour or so slowly replacing the water until you take all that water out and replace it with the tank water getting rid of all that shop water out the way otherwise we don't want to be taking any nasties in the tank there's a lot of endlers in the tank where um, where Vlad was now Vlad wouldn't have touched those being a fan shrimp he's obviously like he takes small particles of food out of the water column with his with his little mitts and then passes that to his mouth and feeds that way but with these guys they're active hunters scavengers and they will attack and eat anything else so I'm probably going to take out most of the endlers and put them into the shrimp room into my other tank I've got in there I'll show you that I might take the endlers out today with you because they're very very simple I've got them trained to come to the surface for the food and they literally all come up in one go and I can get the most of them as you've seen me before separating them out um, I can take them you know just take them out in one net full put them in a bit of water and then we can acclimate them into the tank in the shrimp room where she is as well so they won't be going together for a while now I think what we should do we reached 6,500 subs guys absolutely fantastic thank you so much for that over the moon and um, I think we're up to six I think it's about 6,530 now and um, and it's growing all the time and it's fantastic you guys are hopping on board and I really hope you're enjoying the channel and learning little bits and all these little hints and tricks and tips that I throw at you they come in handy and um, yeah brilliant can't believe we got there so what we'll do now is we'll go to the computer we'll pick five random winners from the random picker on that video which was the one we did with Sheila from life with pets if you're unsure with her channel pop across and check her channel out that's really good really informative if you're into better guppies goldfish snails you name it she does it and she's got a nice little shop there as well where she sells all different types of dividers for better tanks and um, go and show her some port and uh, buy a couple of bits off her I'm sure she'll appreciate that and um, I will go on to that video click on that one and we'll pick five random winners okay guys okay guys we're back in the house and I think we should go and pick a winner now for these pick five of you guys for win these cucumber holders that I've been making so we'll go down to my little collab there with Sheila and Life with Pets where I put the uh, competition up click on that go down to pick a winner which is there and here we go so good luck to all you guys and let's pick out the first winner John Bear there you go mate you've got a little pleck hole a little uh, shrimp holder coming Fantastic, there you go John, I'll get that on the, uh, well I won't get it on, on its way to you because it's going to be a custom one, so what I need you to do is go to my Facebook page, I'll show you guys how to do that at the end of this pick, but there you go, John Bear's got one, right we'll go down and we'll click on pick a winner again, and it will randomly select through, and let's see who's got number two, Adrian Lopez, congratulations to you mate, number three, There you go, Carlo. Ernesto Solari. Brilliant stuff. You've got one as well. Number four. 
There you go. D and D, you've won one as well. Congratulations to you. And the final number five is Coral Ocean. Congratulations to you as well. There you go. There's the five. Well, congratulations to you five. What I need you to do now is, I'll just pause this a minute. Right, we're back on my homepage now. Right, if you go here now on my homepage, click on that Facebook link there. Okay, that'll take you straight through to my Facebook group. If you just put on there, can you add me? When you're uh, when you come through, I'll accept you as uh, as, a, as a member of the group, and then you can personal message me your address and what you would like on your uh, cucumber holder, and I'll get them made up and get them sent out to you. Okay, guys, fantastic stuff. And thank you for all you guys that have been subbing up lately. It's been really good, really exciting stuff. Channel's growing great all the time. And um, thank you very much to you lot, okay? You're all stars. Love you all. Right, let's get back to it. Right, there you go, guys. We're back We're in the living room now. And um, look at all those endless. No end of them. Absolutely loads of them in here. Hundreds of little babies creeping around as well. It's a shame little Vlad passed on, quite upset by that, but as I said before, these things do happen when you keep pets, and they all, uh, everything comes to an end one day, sadly. So, we've got him up in, in the top there now. I think what I'll do is I'm going to take most of these endlers out. I think I'll leave a few in there, because um, they do a good clean-up job keeping the algae down, and they're quite zippy little fish, so... I don't think they're going to get caught by the uh, by the little crayfish too easily, like things like corries. You know, slower moving fish they tend to attack more so, but these are quite um, quite alert and they're quite quick. So I don't think they're going to um, come to much harm in there. He might get the odd one, but um, I don't think he will. But you never know. But there's quite a lot of them in there. So I think what I'll do now is I'm going to take I'm going to go and get my net. I think I might release him in there first. I've been acclimating him over time. Hello, Lemon. You guys haven't seen Lemon for a while, have you? Look at the size of that fella now. You gonna say hello to the people? Hello. There he is. There's my boy. Looking into the camera. <laughs> He'd be up there. He'd be chasing. He loves going into the my shrimp room and ch chops in away. No, stop playing with my leads. Off you go. You'll be biting through my mic lead in a minute. I can see that happening. So I'll move it before you do it. Right, we've got the little lobster there on the top. So I'll just put him in without getting nipped out. Thank you very much. I probably deserve that. And I'll drop him in. You'll see him go in now. There he goes. Into his new home. Having a little look around. Picking up the scent. And he'll start surveying that little tank bottom now and he'll get to know every little nook and cranny in there. He's got Vlad's cave over in the corner. Or he's got a lot of a lot of that java fern there by that old shrimp hide that we made many moons ago. He can go in amongst there. He might dig his own hole. We'll have to wait and see what he does. But at the moment, he's just getting used to his surroundings. All the endlers have come to say hello. I'll try, I'll get in there, I'll zoom in there for you a bit. You'll probably end up going behind the rocks there in a minute, hiding away. It's quite a dim light on this system. Here he goes. And it won't be long, it'll be a couple of, maybe a, a day, best part of today I would have thought. And he'll, um, whoops, sorry about that. Best part of the day and he'll have his coloration back and he should, uh, he should start looking quite nice then. But he's going to look for a nice little dark place now to go and hide. He'll get his tail in as you see there, drop his little tail in behind those rocks. Just his little eyes poking out now on his claws. He'll get his back in there and he'll feel a lot safer. And uh, no, he's coming out again. <laughs> Brilliant stuff.
There you go, guys. Just get you out the tripod so you can have a closer look. You can see how grey the coloration is, but you can see the blue on the inside of the claws and on the tip of the claw there. That's the blue he's going to go. He's still doing his little mission there. He's looking around trying to find somewhere to get his back into. You can have a little rest there, are you? If we come round the side, there we'll be able to see you. There you go. There's a bit better view. It'll be nice to see these two breed come in time. But like I say, these things take time. And good things come to those who wait. I'm a firm believer of that. Perched on top of his rock. The new king of the tank. I do love them. Years ago, like I say, I used to be a fisherman. I um, used to catch the big blue lobsters out in the English Channel and um, thoroughly enjoy catching those. I'll be going back home sometime this year. I'm rigging up a few bits and bobs, getting some acrylic and uh, making some equipment so I can do some fancy underwater footage for you. And hopefully it'll work. What the plan, what I've got in mind, it's going to work out. It's going to be really interesting to see. So uh, stay tuned for all that stuff. I know my plants are going to take a beat in here. I know some of you guys are thinking, oh, you got some nice plants in there. They're going to disappear, and I, I'm well aware of that. They are avid um, vegetation eaters. They love eating all detritus and stuff like that in the tank. That's why they're really good in a tank if you've got predators and things. And they can hide away in a shell because they will come out and clean up of a night time. I don't mean huge predators that can eat those, but anything that's a messy fish, they're good to, to keep with them. All these little endlers. No end of those guys. Look at them all. Got lots of little ones changing colour now. Into males. I took a load of males out the other day. And we've got another big gang down in this corner here. Where I've removed that pump. If you remember I had that power head circulating around here. Because when we used to feed Vlad. He used to actually turn that power head on. And it used to blow the food around. And he used to sit there with his little hands out. Grabbing it out of the water like that. If you've seen there. Uh, Bamboo shrimps and all those are like feeding. It's very interesting. Plants are doing well. Lovely coloration, some beautiful red on that. I've been using that fluval micronutrients in the in both of these tanks. It's not going. It's going to be a while before I see a difference, but uh, I'll keep you posted on how that stuff fares from the JBL stuff that I was using before. Anyway, this little guy seems to like that corner. He's favouring that corner there. You're not going to fit inside that bamboo, my friend. It's a little bit small for you to get into that. Anyway guys, thank you very much for um, for subbing up to the channel. If you're all new to the channel, thank you very much for subbing up recently. We've had quite a few of you guys jumping on board recently. And um, I thank you all very much for that. And also for all you guys that have uh, been me with me for some time now. I'll get those cucumber holders out to you guys. Make sure you go onto Facebook where I pointed and showed you before for that link to my Facebook page where you can get in touch with me and send me that personalised message through Messenger and um, send me your address and what you'd like me to put on the on the cucumber holder for you and um, I'll, I'll put that on there and I'll do my best to put that on you on there for you and uh, and get them out to you ASAP okay anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there from so from me and this this new little guy I'm gonna bid you farewell thank you for tuning in thanks for watching Wednesday's episode and um, I'll catch you guys on the next edition of Mark's Aquatics. Take care. Love you loads. Bye for now. Oh, he's beautiful. Just me and my guitar.